on more to that bolt. So now we're going to go into port in the head. I'm not going to show you all the stages of everything I'm going to do. The video would be way too long. I'll just show you a few things I've considered first. Using these calipers, I've gone around and checked all the thickness of the the head to the waterways. Uh, with the ports, I don't really want to be cutting it through because that would be a nightmare. I'd scrap the head. So I've done a lot of that. And check in. And there's about five five mil, four five mil thickness in most areas. I'm not going to be porting it up that much, so I'm not running no risks there. So these are the tools I'm going to be using. These I'll be using to calipers to make sure I get all of the ports um, consistent. I'm going to try and be quite thorough about that. Um, I'm going to be using a Dremel on an extension shaft. So all the parts that I've got here sort of um, Dremel bits. I've got a few cutting burrs. I'm not going to be doing an awful lot with them if I'm honest. Um, I definitely don't want to be over cutting anything, just some slight work with them. Then I've got two packs of these um, various grit um, drum sanders, some flat ones, two packs of them, and then some polishing, which I'll be uh, polishing the chambers um, here and the exhaust um, ports. I won't be doing polishing to the so let's get started. Okay, so let's just show you a little bit of, uh, of what I've been doing so far. And I'm hoping you're going to be able to see because I'm using a GoPro with no back view on it so I just got to hope that you can see so if you look into that port let me try and make sure it looks like you can see right that's the standard one I did start to just take a little bit off there and then I thought oops I better get a bit of footage before I go any further so that's basically a standard one then what I'm doing is the humps that you see before the valve guide uh, first stage is to flatten right. them down so if we come down to number one on this one you can see <coughs> that I finished just taking a, a small amount off the valve guides angling them up and a little bit of um, sanding through the port um, mouth. How I'm getting on with this so far is uh, this is just a uh, uh, cheap Dremel. Uh, I borrowed this one off my nephew. I'm using it on a flexi shaft. Um, I actually had a bit of a problem with the one I was using. Um, it was perfect for taking out, roughing out, and then I got to use these. And these are absolutely perfect for the size for getting in down there, giving a, a lovely curve. But these cannot handle the resistance they give so it didn't fare too well on my Aldi Dremel and so as you can see that didn't go too well burnt that out so what I'm doing now is I've got a, a drill that I'm using when I have the flap wheels uh, it's a little bit slow if I'm honest it can be a bit more tedious but, but we get in there well, I'm at the stage now where the inlet ports are pretty much done as much as um, I'm confident to take on and what I'm trying to achieve here is um, if we look in this port here now um, the head as you can see is upside down so piston size this side so this is the the floor this is the roof um, <clears throat> I've taken minor out of the roof in fact hardly anything other than what you saw earlier with the guides flattening them off um where the tops are here with the injectors i don't see no gain in, in opening them out um also as i've um, said the the size of the 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 mouth of the port here is actually larger than the inlet manifold so i'm not i am taking nothing out of that 
and I don't want to hinder any of that kind of flow. That's working as it is. So my main concentration has been slightly on the roof, untouched to the floor, as I've said, other than um, slight grit. The the floor of the port is where you can really end up ruining your your flow and messing up the whole job. So we've just knife edged the the divider. Now I know there's varying opinions on that about not um non knife edging it and, and I've read some things that people have said well like an aeroplane wing wings and they're not knife edge at the front but I think that comes from people who have absolutely no clue about aerodynamics and the difference between trying to make an aeroplane take off and get a lift than trying to make a your port on your your cylinder head flow so it's completely different aerodynamics uh, purposes there so you know what's the real answer i don't know but many professionals i see go for a divided port and uh, a knife edge port and i kind of agree with them so let's sit roll the head over and i'll show you what i've done around the in the bowls right so you can see now i've um, smoothed out the the bowls these are an 8d grit finish um let's turn this head around it's actually the head at a better angle now right it's okay I can show you what I've done, you know. So 80 grit finish. Um, open up the bowl slightly on the inside there. One of the big restrictions was the area of the divider here. Open that up. Also the sides here. The um, the floor as it comes in here. Last being just had a very light sand and I'm grinding none of that. I'm not keen on changing the shape. Like I said, I do not want to ruin the airflow at the floor the other thing as well uh, from my research there's um there's a rule of thumb this the overall size of your valve you want your port to be 85 percent for your port size compared to the valve for road car race is about 90 percent now when i actually measured these from the factory the port seat is works out at 90 percent of the size of the valve so um, I've seen some people, some professionals, actually grind the seat out and make it larger. And see, I'm not an expert on that, but I, if they're making the seat larger and taking it right out to the where the valve touches on the seat, then they seem they're going against the principle of 90%. So I don't know what the reasoning there is there, whether I'm reading right or wrong, but I'm not taking any chances and I'm sticking with that. So I've smoothed them out nicely. As you can see, it's, uh, it's got a nice smooth surface going down. Valve guide just cut back. So I'm pretty happy with that. I've done that through through all of the inlets. Um, now I'm onto the exhaust port. So I'm going to turn the head around now and I'll show you the exhaust ports.